This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with how to shortcut anything in PowerPoint using ribbon guides. And although I say PowerPoint, this really works in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Key point though, this is for PC users only. This currently does not work on a Mac, but if you do have a PC, ribbon guides are one of the best productivity features added to the Microsoft Office Suite, even though they were added in 2007, over a decade ago, which is why I often say, this is the lost decade of productivity. Ribbon guides are rusting away in most people's garage. So if you are on a PC version of Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, you wanna put these into action immediately because they're gonna help get you to happy hour. In this video, we'll look at what ribbon guides are and how they work. I'll show you an example of adding and removing bullet points using ribbon guides, which works in both Word and PowerPoint. So it's kind of a double dipping keyboard shortcut. We'll look at an example changing a shape's height and width in PowerPoint. And I'll show you a clever trick for bouncing back and forth between the height and width input boxes. And then we'll look at an example flipping back and forth between the slide master and normal views in PowerPoint. Key point, you need to make this commitment. Whether you're a mister or a missus, you need to make this commitment to your keyboard if you wanna be fast and efficient in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. So what are ribbon guides and how do ribbon guides work in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel? Well, if this is the PowerPoint ribbon, by hitting the Alt key, I can start a letter sequence across the top of my tabs, which will allow me to drill into any specific tab. For example, if I hit H on my keyboard, the Home tab will open up and every commander feature on the Home tab lights up with a ribbon guide that I can use, which is how I can access any commander feature in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel simply using keyboard shortcuts. So the way this works is these are alt-driven keyboard shortcuts. You follow the letters forward to move forward through the ribbon. You can use the escape key to walk back a level, and you can always hit alt a second time to close out of your ribbon guides. And let me show you how this works in PowerPoint. So here in PowerPoint, if I select an object, I hit and let go of the alt key, and you can see the letter sequence across the top of my ribbon. Those again represent the tabs. I'll hit H for the home tab. Again, notice that all of the commands and features light up with a visible keyboard shortcut, and I don't have to hold anything down. I can continue moving forward. So let's say I want to hit G for the arrange dropdown and the arrange dropdown opens up. And again, all of these commands have a guide that I can hit. I hit A for the align tool and the alignment tool pops open. So that's moving forwards through the ribbon. I can hit escape to walk back a level to the arrange dropdown. Escape again will walk back to all of the commands and features on the home tab. Escape again will move back to the tabs. This time I'll hit N for the insert tab. I can hit T for table and start to insert a table using nothing but my keyboard. And again, hitting escape walks back a level. Now, if I ever am into my ribbon guide, so Alt H G for the arrange dropdown, and I don't want to be in my guides and I don't want to walk back a level, I simply hit the Alt key a second time to close them out. So again, Alt H G A, I'm in here. I don't want to be here. I hit Alt a second time to immediately close out all of the ribbon guides. So let's look at one of my favorite ribbon guide examples, which is adding and removing bullet points, which works both in Word and PowerPoint, which is Alt H U on your keyboard. So here in PowerPoint, I have some text and I wanna add bullet points to it. Normally when you're adding bullet points, you would select the text, come to the home tab, come and open the bullet dropdown, make your bullet selection and be done. Using our ribbon guides, that looks like this. I hit and let go of the Alt key to light up my ribbon commands across the top. I know the bullet dropdowns on the home tab, so I hit H for home. You can see U for bullets. I'll hit U on my keyboard. I'll use my arrow keys to select these square bullets. I'll hit enter and I'm done. I later want to add a different bullet style to a different block of text. I select the text. I hit and let go of the alt key. I'm not holding anything down. H, U for the bullet drop down. I make my selection. This time I'll choose these check marks and I hit enter. Now for this third one, notice as I go into the bullet drop down, alt H, U, that they're all a different color. The way I did that was by coming into the bullets and numbering dropdown, which I can either click with my mouse or hit N for the bullets and numbering options. This is where you can choose your different bullet styles, choose your theme colors, maybe I want red for this one, etc. Change the size, etc. and just click OK. You can see that the red bullets are added or the red arrows are added. If I later want to remove the bullet points, I'll just hold and shift select all three objects, Alt H U, I'll go a little bit faster, hit enter for none, and all of the bullet points disappear. So that's how to use ribbon guides to quickly add Alt H U, hit enter and remove Alt H U, say none, enter, bullet points in PowerPoint and Word. Next, let's look at how to change an object's height and width using our ribbon guide shortcuts in PowerPoint, which is Alt JDH or Alt JDW. And I'll make a special point about doubled up ribbon guides. Here in PowerPoint, I have three different rectangles and I have a specific height and width that I want to apply to each rectangle. And I'm going to do that using our ribbon guide shortcuts. 
First off, without our ribbon guide shortcuts, we would select an object, come and click the shape format tab, and you can see the height and width input boxes here on the right. So before we use our ribbon guide shortcuts, it's important to know where these commands are so we can visually walk up to them using our ribbon guides. Using our ribbon guides, we would select an object, we'd hit and let go of the Alt key. Special note, the shape format tab has two uh, ribbon guide shortcuts. The draw tab has two as well. We do not need to hit and hold down J and D. We simply start with J and I let go of it on my keyboard. D for shape format tab, and you can see H. I'll hit H and jump into the height input box. For this first one, I'll just 1.5 and then enter. To change the width, hit and let go of the Alt key. J, D, I'm not holding anything down on my keyboard. W, type 1.5 and hit enter. And I've quickly changed the height and width of my rectangle to 1.5. Now, if you know that you wanna change your height and width at the same time, there's a clever trick to allow you to bounce back and forth between the height and width input boxes. I'll show you that right now. Hit and let go of the Alt key, J, D for shape format all over again. I'll hit H for height. I'll type 0.75. This time, instead of hitting Enter, I'll hit Tab, which is the same as hitting Enter and then hitting Alt, J, D, W to jump into the width input box. I'll type two and I'll Enter and my height and width have changed. I'll do this one more time using those shortcuts. Alt, J, D, H for height. I'll type three. I won't hit Enter, I'll hit Tab instead to jump to the width input box, 1.5. And if I want to jump back again, I just shift tab back. So tab and shift tab is the keyboard shortcut to jump in between these height and width input boxes once you've used your ribbon guides to access them in your ribbon. Lastly, let's look at bouncing back and forth between the slide master and normal views in PowerPoint, which is Alt WM for the slide master view or Alt WL for the normal view. Here in PowerPoint, we're gonna use our ribbon guide shortcuts to jump between the slide master and normal views. First off, if you don't know where those commands are, they're both up here on the view tab. So you have all your slide master views here and here's the normal command. Now what's something we might wanna jump to the slide master for? Let's say for example, we wanna take this logo, a control X to cut it, and we wanna place it in one place so that it shows up on all of the slides in our presentation. That's what the slide master view is good for. So I'll hit and let go of the alt key to start my ribbon guide sequence across the top. I know the slide master is on the view tab, so I'll hit W. The view tab opens and all of the commands and features again are lit up with a different ribbon guide shortcut. You can see the M is for slide master view, so I'll hit M. And if you've never been to your slide master view, there's two key components here. There's the big parent slide, which is where we wanna add things like control V to paste, our logos and format our content. By adding our logo here, it'll percolate to all of the other slides in our presentation. These smaller or child slides is where you wanna make individual tweaks to your individual layouts. To learn all about how to set up the slide master like this, check out our how to create a PowerPoint template here on YouTube. Now that I've placed the logo here on my parent slide so it shows up in all my presentation or all the slides in my presentation, to go back to the normal view, I hit and let go of the Alt key. I hit the W for view tab. Again, normal is here on the left. I simply hit L and I jump back to the normal view. Here back in the normal view, you can see that logo is now on all of the slides here in my presentation. And because it was set on the slide master, it's not clickable or editable here in the normal view. So that's again, Alt WM to jump to the slide master view to make some edits to the underlying templates for your PowerPoint presentation. When you're done, Alt WL will jump you back here to the normal view. So for a quick recap of how to shortcut anything in PowerPoint using ribbon guides, we looked at what ribbon guides are and how to use them. We looked at adding bullet points, which is Alt H U, which works both in Word and PowerPoint to open the bullet drop down menu. We looked at changing the height and width, Alt J D H, Alt J D W in PowerPoint and how to tab and shift tab through those input boxes. And finally, we looked at the slide master view. So Alt W M to make edits to our underlying slides and then Alt W L to jump back to the normal view in PowerPoint. From here, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to learn is how to customize your quick access toolbar and set up your most frequently and hardest to reach commands here on either below or above the ribbon on your quick access toolbar, which I'll cover in my next video. If you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date on our latest PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, what I call PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets and free courses, check out the links below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.